Hey, Evan, yeah, the most important thing to know really is that this trial is really key to the state's execution plans. Currently, there are no more inmates on the calendar for executions, but if the state wins this trial, they could add as many as two dozen more to the calendar, although we don't know exactly when that would start. The inmates, of course, like you said, argue that the lethal injection protocol that the state uses is unconstitutional. That plan, we've talked to you about it before, but under that plan, the state uses three drugs. The first is supposed to knock an inmate out, make it so they can't feel pain. The second paralyzes the inmate. The last one stops their heart and kills them. Much of the inmates' argument centers on the first one. It's a drug called Midazolam. Today, an OSU pharmacology professor testified that Midazolam may make it seem to witnesses like the person is fully knocked out and not feeling pain, but he says it can't actually do that and that the pain of those next two drugs that the state uses may be what he called torturous for inmates. Of course, the state argues that my Dazzlam does in fact work. They asked questions to that effect today as they were cross examining witnesses, and we expect they'll call witnesses and experts that will confirm that on their side. Of course, this, uh, the state's already used this protocol four times to, like you said, that I witnessed uh, since they restarted executions last year. The use of my Dazzlam has been upheld in other courts, and it's really a very high legal bar to clear for a method of execution to be found unconstitutional. Today, Judge Fry had a few points jumping in and asking questions of the witnesses. A lot of the testimony today was focused on very technical chemistry and biology topics. We think the trial may go about through the end of the week or so, but no indication how quickly the judge will rule. And then, of course, after that, there could be an appeals process. So really no timeline on how quickly executions could restart if the state were to win at trial.